Nearly 20 years ago, when she was 16, Suzanne Patvakanian had a child in Yerevan. Armenia was a country that 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 was a Patvakanian says doctors threatened to report the father, who was 21 at the time, to the police. So she signed the release under pressure and hasn't seen her daughter since. Her lawyer says the case is part of a widespread black market adoption operation involving senior officials, hospitals and orphanages, and that it has continued for decades. In November, Armenia's National Security Service said it had launched a criminal investigation into numerous cases of foreigners illegally adopting Armenian children. The probe is focused on 54 children adopted by foreigners from 2016 to 2018, mostly by citizens of Italy and the United States, according to investigators. <laughs> The country's chief obstetrician gynecologist, the head of the Mankuntun orphanage in Yerevan, and other officials have been detained in recent weeks. All adoptions have been suspended as the investigation continues. Despite years of accusations and evidence of organized baby trafficking, previous post-Soviet Armenian governments had not set up a system for tracking adoption cases abroad. Lawyer Susanna Sarkisian said some three dozen women have turned to her to find information about cases that happened years ago. Համապատասխան <laughs> 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 